Okay, let's finish up our custom patterns assignment. So what we need to do, hopefully you have now created at least 10 custom patterns that we're going to use in our Zentangle illustration. So at least 10 custom patterns. You can see the ones I made over here to the right. I'm going to make these a little bit bigger so I have my swatches panel active. I'm going to come to the options right here. I'm going to switch from small thumbnail to large thumbnail so I can see them. And I also want to get rid of the white and black. So I'm going to click on white, trash it. I'm going to click on black, trash it. I'm going to click on this folder and trash it. These stay, but I just want my patterns to be there. All right, now here's the deal. For the rest of this tutorial, we're going to do two things. We are going to save these swatches so they can be reused in another Illustrator document. And then we're also going to save these swatches out for the web so you can put them up on Behance and turn them in for points. First things first, let's save our custom swatches. So you made a collection of custom swatches. And if you close out of this document, open up a new one, they won't be there. So Illustrator has a way for you to save a custom swatches. So here we need to do it. We're going to come down here into the kind of, it's a swatch libraries menu. It looks like three books stacked against each other. And then the top option is save swatches. And by default, yours probably looks like this and it should say swatches right there. And you want to name it, name it Zentangle Swatches. So save as Zentangle Swatches where swatches, not to documents, not to drive, not to downloads. Just keep it to its default and click, click that blue button for save. All right, mine said replace because I'd already saved it in a previous tutorial that I messed up on. You just need to save, click on save. So now I have those saved out. They're there for future use. Next, we need to present your patterns in a cool and creative way on your Behance site so you can turn it into me for the assignment. And this is how we're going to do it. First things first. We are going to change the size of our artboard. When you were designing your patterns, your artboard should have been 100 pixels by 100 pixels so the patterns are nice and small and repeatable. But to display on Behance, we want it much, much bigger. So I'm going to come over to the artboard tool, which is here on the left. And you can see up here on the right that it's 100 pixel width. I'm just going to add a zero and also going to add a zero to height. Then I'm going to click tab to exit out. Now I'm 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels and I want to see it all in screen. So I'm going to command zero to zoom out to full view or fit in window. So now I have a thousand by thousand artboard, which is good for one pattern. I'm going to click off the artboard tool just so it's not highlighted weird. Now I want to come over to artboards, which is next to layers. If yours isn't there, go up to window and click on artboards. And right now we only have one artboard, but we can make more. And we want to make however many artboards you have for the number of patterns you have. I'm going to say 10. All right. So I'm going to do 10 artboards. So I'm going to hit new. And you can see it numbers them. And I'm going to do 10 artboards. Next, I'm going to hit Command Option 0. Command Option 0. And that zooms out to see all of my artboards. And yours might be in a straight line. Yours might be in two rows like mine. However it is, we're going to adjust it right now. We're going to do that in the bottom left of the artboards panel. And there's a button that says rearrange all artboards and we just want to make sure it says five columns and 20 pixels spacing and then we're going to click OK and we should get something that looks like that. Now I'm going to switch back to my layers and I'm just going to keep layer one which is fine that's not too important for what we're doing next. I'm going to take my rectangle tool and these are 1000 by 1000 and I want none for the stroke 
and we can have black for the fill right now. We're going to change it later anyway. So I'm going to click just anywhere. And my rectangle needs to be 1,000 by 1,000 pixels. So that's the same exact size as the artboard. I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to take my Move tool and come up to, well, maybe not even alignment. I'm just going to kind of snap it in place. It'll snap. All right, I'm going to snap it into place. Then I'm going to hold Option, and I'm going to drag it to the next artboard like that. And I want to duplicate that over three times. I could keep dragging it, or if I recall and I'm working smart, Command D for duplicate. Next, we need to move them down. So I'm going to highlight all five on the top, and I'm going to Option drag those and then hold shift with my other finger and just line that up nicely so that now all of them have a black rectangle. I'm gonna go up to swatches and really easily just select one and then highlight my patterns. Now your patterns may be bigger or smaller depending on how you drew them. That's just kind of, these ones are really small but it's just kind of a Proof of concept, and yours probably, maybe, will look a little bit better. We'll see. I think I made mine a little too small, but it's okay. I can see my patterns like that, which is what I want. I'm going to have you do this a couple ways. First thing is, I want you to save all of them. And we can't do that really from Illustrator as one view. So we're going to do a magic shortcut key, which takes a screenshot. We're going to do... Command Shift 4. Command Shift 4. And it brings up this bullseye. And with this bullseye, I'm just going to click outside of my swatches a little bit so there's a little border and try to eyeball it, make it consistent all the way around, and let go. Now on your desktop, you will see a new file called Screenshot with the date and time and you will see all these patterns. And you can rename that to uh, Zentangle Patterns or whatever and upload that to Behance. But I also wanna see each individual pattern saved out. So we're gonna come up to File and we're gonna go to Export and we're gonna Export for Screens. So File, Export, Export for Screens. And the reason why we're doing that is it allows us to export all the artboards at once. And we're gonna change the format from PNG to JPEG 100. And then save it to your project folder that you have named. So I don't have one, I'm just gonna save mine. Yours should be under Google Drive and your custom patterns folder. I don't have that so I'm just gonna save it to my tutorial folder that I used to create the tutorials. And we want to select all artboards. You can even come in here and rename them if you wish to and say something like pattern one and I highly recommend this. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna click on the next one, paste it. Hit backspace, do two. Paste it, backspace and three. And you get the idea. Really easy to go through like this and name them all so that your file names oops, make sense instead of artboard. And I can scroll down a little bit and then backspace twice for the last one and then export artboard. And it exported all 10 of them for you. And you can go ahead. You want to create a single Behance project. You can upload more than one picture. Upload the screenshot of all of them. And then um, each individual one. Nice and easy.